Hello, hello everyone. Lucy and Jeffrey here. I'm the founder of the Entrepreneur Nation. I'm the CEO of the Entrepreneur Nation. I'm the host uh, and the producer of the Entrepreneur uh, TV show that we um, broadcast on Rogers TV on Cable Channel 13. Our viewers on LinkedIn and my friends on LinkedIn, I want to tell you that I'm so excited. I'm so pumped uh, to welcome you to the Entrepreneur TV show in 2023. I did not do any recording and broadcasting in December. I did not do anything in January because I know Canadians were busy in December and entrepreneurs were getting down and settling down in their businesses in January. And now in February, I'm right here welcoming you to come and tell your entrepreneur story. The Entrepreneur TV is about you. And I always start with the members of the Entrepreneur Nation. So today I'm very excited to let you know that I've already interviewed Colin is a mortgage agent, Vikas is a real estate lawyer, and Juard is a realtor. The three of them came on TV to talk to them, to our viewers, about what's happening in the real estate market. We've had great things happening in the real estate market, and we've had not so great things. We've had the interest rates are going up. So really, we count on our professionals within the entrepreneur nation to come forward and tell us what's going on. Uh, there's someone who said, and, and I think it's Yulia Rodionova, she's a lawyer, she said that within the entrepreneur nation, what we learn here, even if you go back to the university for two years, you'll not be able to learn everything we learn here. So we listen to our professionals uh, they went to college, they went to university, lawyers studied for eight years, so we listen to them every single day for them to give us advice. And so this is what I tell lawyers and all the professionals, you are the experts. I am not the expert. So my job is to bring you here so you can get to be known by everybody, so you can really showcase your knowledge, and that is very important. So the entrepreneur, TV show on Rogers TV Cable Channel 13 is starting uh, this month. And I welcome all of you to message me, even if you are not a member of the Entrepreneur Nation. If you think there's something you can say on TV, I welcome you. I want you to know that I do this on volunteer basis. I don't charge for this. So we only charge a little contribution for us to pay the video editor because of course I'm not the one who does the editing. So everything from preparing you to be able to come on TV, uh, from looking at the questions that you have to make sure they look great so we can showcase you and bring you forward in the professional way that we know how, I want you to come forward. I want you to come forward. Very important. So this is our TV show. We always change the opening. <laughs> I teach myself, I am the one who taught myself how to do some of those things, including coming up with that TV opener. So there are some things that I also teach because I'm a trainer, I'm a former high school teacher. There are some things I teach people. If you want to know how to design small designs for your business, come to Lucy. If you want to know how to do small things, you know, making changes to your website, WordPress website, come to Lucy. If you want to know how to grow your business this year and maximize on everything that you have thought about, come to Lucy. Everything that I offer to our members is free. If you're a member of the Entrepreneur Nation, everything is included in your membership. Of course, if you're not a member of the Entrepreneur Nation, I challenge you to do that. So really welcoming everybody. Uh, I talked the other day, I was talking to some university students and they, they asked me, what do you think about success? At what point should someone consider themselves successful? And I said, the first thing that I said, I do not want anyone to feel unsuccessful. 
So I don't want anyone to feel unsuccessful. So what does that mean? That everyone should feel successful. So it's how we feel. Do you feel successful? Do you think you'll be successful? Do you have plans in place to make yourself successful? Right? So uh, I told university students that the fact that you actually uh, passed your exams and you got accepted in the university, you are successful in that way, right? So it, it's whatever you define your success to be. There are some people who are waiting to have one million in the bank account before they count themselves as successful, and they might wait for some time, right? There are some people who want to have 100,000 in the bank account before they say they are successful. There are some people who are waiting to buy a house before they say they are successful. And in this housing crisis, you might wait a little bit more. So the question, there are some people who want to buy the, you know, the vehicle of their dream before they say they are successful. So the question is, for how long are you going to wait? For how long are you going to wait? So the best thing is to define success and, you know, have milestones, some steps to go, steps, right? If you achieve the first two steps, even if you are going to go to the 10th step to say when you reach there, you say you are successful. It's the stairs, right? So you go to the first and second, I'm successful up to this level. Go to the next one, I'm successful up to this level. The next one, I'm successful. And then when you go to the 10th one, you are now super successful. You have achieved all your goals. But you know what? I told them the journey of a thousand miles starts with one step. So when you make the step and make another and make another, you are working towards your success. So you are successful. So the, 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 the point I'm saying is I do not want anyone to feel unsuccessful. So define your success, define your success parameters. Your success parameters should not be guided by somebody else's uh, parameters and then make yourself successful. There's one thing I want to tell you. I post a lot, I write a lot on LinkedIn and Facebook and everywhere. But let me tell you, I empower myself. What is empowerment? Some people are waiting for somebody to come from somewhere to empower them. No, you need to empower yourself. I empower myself. I speak, I speak positivity within me. I stand there in front of the mirror every day and say, Lucy, you are powerful. Lucy, you can do this. Lucy, it is possible. So if you tell yourself that it's possible, nobody can tell you it's impossible. So you have to convince yourself that everything you want to do is possible before you go to listen to the naysayers. And we were speaking with Pat. Pat is the regional director of the Entrepreneur Nation in Edmonton. She's a business coach. And she told us, there are some people you need to do away with this year. People who cause you negativity. People who cause you sleepless nights. People who don't support you. People who always want to bring you down. Do away with them. Whether they are family members, whether they are business partners, do away with them. Let me tell you how I operate. People think that I'm the most happy person, and I believe I am. I am the most happy person, but I also encounter things. I encounter negative situations, negative people. I encounter that in my leadership journey. But let me tell you what I do. I do away with them as soon as possible. I do away with them as soon as possible. I do not want somebody to give me sleepless night two times. Two nights? No. One night, I spent a sleepless night, you are gone. You are out of my life. And so I'll, I'll tell you that my mind and my brain behaves like um, a vehicle's windshield. The windshield is built in a way that like now the snow is falling. It's winter time. The snow is falling on the windshield. The minute you put the wiper braids on, it cleans the snow and it's gone. So it's my mind is cleaned and my brain is cleaned like that. It cleans. So any negativity that comes doesn't stick here. It's like snow on the wind, windshield that is cleaned and gone and never coming back unless something else comes. So my brain, my mind is cleaned of any negativity from time to time like this. Right? We clean 
and I move on. Anything else comes, I clean and move on. I don't keep it here. A lot of people keep all that negativity here. They pile it up. It bothers you. It causes you stress. It causes you depression. Don't do that. Wipe it out. Wipe it out. So what I do is that I wipe out everything that is negative and keep the positive sign. I know negativity will drown you. Negativity will drown you. Negativity will make you sink. But do you want that to happen? Right? It should never happen. Get out of it. Wipe it out. 2023 should be the year that we are all thinking about being positive, relating with people who support us, relating with people who are walking to the same direction with us and focusing on our goal. So what I tell people is I live in London, Ontario. If my goal is to go to Toronto, I will go to Toronto. Even if I find the road is blocked, I'll take a detour. I'll take a detour and go to Toronto. There is no one who will stop me from achieving my goal. You can put a roadblock here and I'll find a way to get to the other side. So do like that because there are some people, they find the road is blocked and they are like, oh, the road was blocked in Cambridge. I could not go to, to Toronto. No, find a way to go. Find a way to go and get there. Get to your goal. So this is my message for this year. And I'll be talking here more and more. And I appreciate those people who are saying that they have been reading about my post. Uh, I, I will try to bring more videos so you can hear me and see me and see the positivity in me. I was talking also with the members of the Entrepreneur Nation. I'm always every day talking with people. And I was saying that this year, people should come out of their comfort zone and start videos because we need to speak for our businesses and on behalf of our businesses. Sometimes when you read, you read, but you can't tell how that person looks, how that person sounds, uh, the energy that this person has, you really can't tell much. But when you listen to me today, you know, yes, that's Lucy and Jeffrey. I've been seeing her posting. Now that's Lucy and Jeffrey. So try to come up with videos and I can teach people how to do videos. I can teach. I'm willing to teach everyone who wants just reach out to me. I'm always saying that reach out to me on LinkedIn. Send me a message. I have never given my LinkedIn account or my Facebook personal account to anyone to, to read my messages because sometimes people send me confidential messages. I'm a former uh, banking manager, so I know confidentiality. I can never give anyone my account to read messages for me. So I read all the messages and that's why I always say, send me messages. So if you want to learn how to do video, and great videos uh, and how to promote your videos on social media, talk to me. But let's, you know, come out of our comfort zone and do video this year, do LinkedIn lives, do Facebook lives. But what I also told them, your content is very important. If your content is on LinkedIn, then it must be professional. If your content is in, on Facebook, a little bit less professional is okay, but make it professional because your clients are everywhere. Your clients might be on Facebook and you don't know they are there, but they are there and they are looking at you and do they want to do business with you? So really that's the message I'm sending to everybody. Let's do video so that people can see you, so we can talk about our businesses, so we can talk about the knowledge that we have and the licensed professionals, especially lawyers, asked me, um, how can we do this without, you know, messing up our, our, you know, licensing standards? And I said, sometimes you talk about yourself. You don't have to be talking about your clients. And I always tell licensed professionals and I've trained even lawyers, anything that is on the website of the attorney general is free information for everybody. Anything that is on the website of the Law Society of Ontario or whatever law society is free public information. So you can even go there and talk about it. If laws have changed, you can go there and say, you know what? Great news. This law has changed. This law has been repealed or this law is going, you know, you know, the parliamentarians are talking about it and they are thinking about of repeating it. Be the one to tell us. Don't always wait for the news stations to tell us. Be the one to tell us because you're the professional. So if you're thinking of doing video this year and you don't know what to say in your videos, reach out to me and I'll help you. Members of the Entrepreneur Nation, you can get my, my assistance, whatever it is, free. And uh, if you're not a member of the Entrepreneur Nation, 
there's a little cost to you. So thank you so much, my awesome friends on LinkedIn and Facebook. And I appreciate you for always leading my post. And I appreciate you, those you come for and then give me feedback. Thank you so much. <music>